Hello, Corner of the Galaxy friends. We're here to get you through another important Hello, Galaxy Welcome match. So I'm Josh Gessman. He's the Eric the Portuguese Hammer Vieira, and this is the LA Galaxy hosting Orlando City in Week 4 of the MLS season. Eric, what are you expecting from this match? Well, uh, I'm expecting a decent performance from our uh, newly signed Mexican international, Javier Chicharito Hernandez, still yet to score in this young MLS season, so I'm looking forward to see if he can finally uh, break his duck at home here against Orlando. Yeah, the, the weather a little bit rainy tonight, so uh, we'll see how that affects uh, affects the uh, the turf here at Home Depot Center. Home Depot Center, StubHub Center. Um, let's see, how many <laughs> other names can we go? Dignity Health Sports Park. Any of That's those the will one. work. That's the one we'll go with right now. But obviously the guys to watch over on the other side, Dom Dwyer, one of them, um, and then, of course, Nani. Uh, how can we not say, watch Nani? You can't have the Portuguese hammer on the broadcast and not mention Nani. Uh, yeah, he's, he's definitely going to be one that the defense is going to need to keep an eye on. Uh, LA Galaxy in a 4-5-1, which is always strange. I still think it should be a 4-3-3. Uh, David Bingham back there at goal. The real highlights here. Sasha Kleshin in the midfield. Jonathan Dos Santos. Uh, Nick Depew back there at center back as we get ready for uh, this match. And, of course, uh, as you said, Javier Chicharito Hernandez up top at the forward this position. The um, this should be, uh, you know, this is a game the Galaxy should be favored in. Uh, certainly they haven't shown much this season so far to even earn the moniker of a favorite. But anytime you travel all the way across the country, Eric, uh, you should ha you should expect that there is not that you're going to have some advantage over the team that is, uh, that is traveling. Yeah, usually it's a harder trip from uh, West Coast to East Coast, so a little bit of a bit it, but it's still a lot of travel uh, you know you're going into a, an opposing fan base the crowd's going to be going off today so yeah it's going to be tough for Orlando hopefully we see the Galaxy get three points here at home and I love it uh, it never rains in Southern California except it <laughs> rains in Southern California all yeah, the you time know, you know it's 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 accurate because it's uh, you know been rainy around these parts recently yeah it is all right game underway now uh, LA Galaxy uh, looking for their first win of the season now. So uh, we'll we'll pick it up. Obviously, uh, Christian Pavone should be a centerpiece of this offense. Uh, we'll see if that ends up uh, being a thing or not because uh, he certainly has been the only bright spot so far for the LA Galaxy, but uh, not a lot to show there in, uh, in their last game. Yeah, it's also nice to see Jonathan Dos Santos healthy and back in the lineup. You know, he was struggling with those uh, injuries in the preseason, but now that he's fully fit and ready to go, hopefully he can go a full 90 tonight. Again, the LA Galaxy probably one of their uh, their weaknesses we've seen through the first first part of this season is is the play through the middle and uh, and through that that midfield. Jonathan Dos Santos being back there should definitely be a a, a good sign there. Yeah, nice play to the middle. We didn't see a cross. We saw them try to do a link up move. So uh, maybe they're learning from those early games in the season. Yeah, and Ch you know Chicharito actually touches the ball towards the net, so that's always a positive sign for uh, for the man. Hashtag no service Chicharito. Yeah, first no Amazon, and then now on the field. So yeah, hopefully he can get it going. That's right. We'll corner. see how it goes. It wasn't an All right, Ooh, and there, bold header. <laughs> bold <laughs> Depew from about <laughs> seventy <laughs> yards out with the header running <laughs> backwards and away from the ball. That's always yeah, that's it's, it's impressive. You know, if someone's going to score a header from outside the eighteen, it's going to be the new star, Nick Depew. Yeah, the the guy who plays center back. That's that's what you want from your six foot five center back. That's the position. Put him outside the box. <laughs> The good also, news is, I, I was going to say, the good news is that even though it's it's raining, even though it's it's cold, uh, it's the wintry weather that, of course, uh, we never get in Southern California. The, the the fans showed up. Yeah, it's impressive. Another sellout crowd here at Dignity Health Sports Park. So, uh, you know, tell, tell, it's a testament to the the fans here that they're you know we're hungry for some LA Galaxy soccer tonight. Oh my! Nervy move. You know, I was going to mention uh, a little bit disappointing not to see Brian Rowe in the lineup. You know, the little LA Galaxy alumni news. Uh, so not not in the starting eleven. Not a good sign for Brian over uh, at Orlando City. I was going to say at least a, a good defensive stand from the LA Galaxy there early. I think it was Giancarlo Gonzalez got on the end of that ball. And Oof, that was it. <laughs> Could have been it. <laughs> You know, you finally get Jonathan Dos Santos in a forward position. You finally get him in a scoring spot, and uh, I guess maybe maybe the pelvis is still bothering him a little bit there because uh, that should have been a goal. You, yeah, he, you might yeah. have had a good chance on that one. I was going to say, he went for, for power instead of placement, you know, so I think he'll rethink that if he gets another crack in front of goal. Power from six yards out. That's that's what you owe. That sounds like something I would do. 
I mean, at least it's nice to see that the Galaxy are playing a build-up game here. I mean, it's not direct, at least to this point. We haven't seen a cross from the wing to nobody yet. So, I was going to say, um, don't, speak, don't jinx it. Don't speak too soon. That was a bad giveaway there by question. Got to watch Nani on the wing here. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Dangerous. Now he must favor the cross. Felcher's in no man's land. Oh, no oh, man. Top of the box. Nobody. See, you know what? LA Galaxy defense for you. Right there. 100% LA Galaxy defense. Uh, the Galaxy have a great look through the first for, through this first half. They have a lot of control. They have a lot of possession. They're moving the ball well. They're getting into dangerous positions. And what happens but a bad pass through the middle, turn the ball over, and then just forget to defend somebody at the penalty spot. Literally at the penalty spot. No one yeah. within four yards of them. That, that's the one place you don't want to leave a man open, and that's where they left him. Again, typical LA Galaxy football or soccer this season. You dominate most of the game on Orlando City's first possession, first attacking possession, and they, and they get on the score sheet unfortunate it, it was uh, interesting to see Insua tucking in there trying to uh, get the block on that uh, a little late getting there uh, again midfield hello midfield where's that midfield don't know don't know that's a, that's been the problem for the LA Galaxy so far this year so you know like I said all the possession all the danger so far and uh, losing one nothing um, after 20 minutes yeah, nothing to show for it, and, you know. Especially now, this we're going to see if this is a mental game. Chicharito again, still yet to score in this young MLS season. Is this something that's going to build up if they can't get one back early? Are they going to be trying too hard towards the end? And we yep. all know when you try too much, that's when things go wrong. Yeah, yet to score and touch the ball all of one time so far. I think in this uh, in this in this game, so. Uh, it's imperative that the Galaxy not only work the ball through the middle, but find spaces in the middle. A lot like they're moving the ball now. This is better. That was that was inches so from greatness. It was hopeful, but had it gone through. Alexander Katai. Again, again, like I'm all for trying to feed the ball to Chicharito. All right, I'm all for trying to get it in there, but you can't force it, and especially yeah. not with somebody like Katai. Katai is not allowed to force the ball. Oh, nice link up play. Again, that was better. Looks like uh, was that Legette with the shot? No, I think I think it was Chicharito with the shot and Legette with the pass. Again, they they all look so similar from this high up in the press box. So it was difficult to tell. I don't have my numbers in front of me. And the rain and the mist, you know, it's it's tough to, it's tough to see it all. I understand. I understand. It makes some sense to me. The pitch here still, though, holding up so far through about, oh, 32 minutes. Yeah, especially with an XFL game here last night. You know, the grounds crew did well to, to make it uh, presentable on a rainy day. Yeah, well, remember, this field uh, relayed not too long ago. Um, so they were able to get it in and actually lay it down and uh, everything so far uh, looking like it's staying. You can't even see the seams anymore, so everything's taken nicely. The rain's probably helping a little bit. So the corner played into the box. That was the world's the longest now. run by Christian Pavone <laughs> to not get the ball. <laughs> From left midfield oh. all the way to play the short corner, and it almost paid off drawing the defenders away. <laughs> he's got to be talking to somebody about that, though, right? He's talking. He's like, he's like, guys, guys you know, I made the run. <laughs> you have to start questioning GBS if that's uh, one of the drawn-up plays, having Pavone run, uh, you know, 50 yards across the field to play the short corner. We got to think of some better ways uh, to put, involve him in the attack. It's a decoy play, Eric. It's a decoy <laughs> play. All right, you were like, there's no way you're not going to pass him the ball if he runs 40 yards across the field to get the short corner. And uh, and also, to be fair, Pavone is not going to be the one winning the header off the corner. No, he should. He, to be, if we're fair, he should be the one taking it. Uh, That's also not, true. If it's not Jonathan DeSantos, you know, one of those guys. All right, here we go on the counter again. Let's watch out. Oh, see? That's the kind of midfield presence you need. Somebody who makes the late run in to break up the pass. That's something that was missing, certainly on the goal in the 20th minute. Galaxy looking just a little bit better. They're, they're missing, like, one or two passes here. Yeah, they're, 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 you, I, I would agree. They're one or two passes away. You just want to... Uh, you want to make sure that they don't give anything up on the counter. Oh, and it's everybody's favorite fake Englishman, Dom Dwyer. <laughs> He's not nice, just remember that. Again, he passed that about as well as his media day performance was. <laughs> He's got to keep his head up there. Oh, Dom Dwyer, the entertainment you give us. Dos Santos. 
See, there's there's room in the middle all of a sudden, and whether Orlando's dropping back further and he's trying to stay behind the ball more, but there's there's room in the middle for guys to operate, like Jonathan Dos Santos, like Sasha Kleshin, like Sebastian Legette, and Legette has to be more vertical in this game. Yeah. yeah, again, you like the link-up play between Legette and Dos Santos, but again, I agree that Legette does need to move a little bit more forward, give Jonathan that space. Things uh, slowing down now a little bit. Oh, big interception. That was going to be offside anyway. Right? I was going to say that that's between two defenders really trying to thread the needle there. Felcher with a dangerous ball as well. Rolf Felcher lives dangerously and sings like an angel. <laughs> Three minutes of stoppage time in the first half for what God only knows. Again, a curious decision by the ref. Inside the box, and again, that was going to be, yeah, it was offside. Yeah. Sasha Kleshton jumping, uh, jumping, but, in, jumping the gun just a little bit. By about a country mile there. They, oh, so no var, no var needed. <laughs> so close. Look at that line. He's only off by three or four <laughs> Ima Boatangs. <laughs> if Ima Boatang is exactly a yard. Is that, is that the unit of measurement? <laughs> if, if, if he I lays think, down, isn't that three feet? Doesn't think, that make sense? I, I think MLS is now converting to Ema Boa Tanks. <laughs> That's, That's how it works. Uh, all right, LA Galaxy down one nothing at halftime. Uh, what we saw there was, uh, I, I would say, some positive, some negative. It's a mixed bag. It is similar to exactly what we've seen a lot of this uh, this season so far, Eric. It's just the inconsistency. It's getting close, but not being able to find the offensive threat there. Uh, uh, more dangerous than I thought maybe they were in the previous game, but certainly a chance for them to uh, to come back here in the second half. But you're, you're losing at home to a not good team like Orlando City. And again, we talked about it before the game that a player like Nani, one of their designated players, was going to be someone to watch, possibly even Chris Mueller, another one of their attackers. But you let uh, Oriel Russell, you know, a name that I'm not not even familiar with he's the one who's who's beating you so again if you're going to lose you, you, you can't lose to those unknown players you have to mark up everybody so uh, unfortunate the way they they had the defensive laps there at the end yeah and you can see you can see it there it is Uri all by himself yeah right right through and Sua uh, gotta be a little stronger than that well, it's it's going to be an it's going to be interesting to see what adjustments uh, Guillermo makes in this game. Um, so far, we've seen that you know the Galaxy have six shots, not bad. Three shots on target. They are winning the possession game. You know, tackles are about the same, um, but it's you've allowed one shot, one, one shot. shot, and one goal. Hundred percent shot accuracy. That's definitely the stat that's most important, and that's where they trail Orlando City. Well, I hope everybody had a good uh, good cookie at halftime. Uh, you know, we got to see everybody at halftime down at the bottom of the press box stairs. Yeah, thanks nice for saying hi. Yeah, it was nice saying hi to Sarah and her dad, Carrie. So, <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for thanks for stopping by. Appreciate and it. And we're I back got in more here. stickers. <laughs> yeah, everybody got their stickers. We're good to go. Um, yeah, okay, so no changes for anybody. LA Galaxy, uh, you know, like, need to need to score, need to score quickly, quite yeah. honestly, because and they're that, just they're, there's no confidence here. Yeah, and once again, they were late coming out of the, the locker room, so we'll see how if that, if that affects play. That's I, I think that's a Valdecantos play. Passing, confidence on the ball. Uh, just it, it, almost. Here it's, it's you know, you, you don't want to get Jonathan Dos Santos or Sebastian Legette the, the ball the with their back to goal. It almost seems like they're going for the home run as opposed to the simple play. Yep. Well, oh, there's the there, simple one. There it is. That's what you wanted to see. Look at that. A Javier Hernandez assist to Sebastian Legette. That's not social distancing right there. That's that's Oof. for sure. That is that is a yellow card on the social distance part, but Rolf Felcher in there to grab him back and bring him into play. That's always good. But this is good passing, Eric. Yeah, it's well done. Again, keeping it simple. No crosses in the air. Keep it on the ground. Let Mr. Becky G put it away. No mask needed as he went into the crowd there. You want to talk about bad defending, you know. Uh, we talked about bad defending in the first half from the LA Galaxy. It's good news that Orlando is just as sucky at defending as the LA Galaxy. Again, oh, Sebastian Legette getting manhandled in, in the crowd. <laughs> this is this is a PG Again, show, folks. They they really do love the boy. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so all level now. Uh, LA Galaxy come out of halftime. Now a substitution here. Interesting. Joe, Joe Corona coming on for uh, for Sasha Kleshin. Again, Joe Corona seemed to have lost his starting spot to Kleshin, so we'll see if he can make an impact and uh, impress GBS to see if he can get his starting spot back. 
All right, it's all tied up. What, what would you do here, Eric? Are you pressing for for another goal quickly, or are you gonna you gonna take a breath now and say, okay, it's all level. Let's let's keep everything in front of us. No, I think I think you smell blood. You know, you've dominated possession. It was a little bit of a fluke goal on Orlando's part. Uh, now you continue to press and, and try to put this game out of reach. You're, you're starting to see the Swiss cheese in that Orlando yes. midfield as well. There's lots of passing back and forth, like this between uh, Chicharito. Oh, what a move! There it is. There Ladies it is. and gentlemen, we have liftoff. Chicharito hey. has landed in no Los Angeles. No service, no problem. Thank you very much. Created the zone. You know what? That's an Amazon Prime goal right there. Home <laughs> delivery. All right? Home <laughs> delivery. <laughs> Delivers same-day shipping. Oh. oh, what a move. That poor Orlando oh. defender. I don't even know who that is, but whoever that left. is, he has, he has a family at home. <laughs> and on the left foot with left the laces foot. right left. through it, left it froze the goalie. Wow. Oh, shush. Silencing shush. the critics. Wow. Well, wow, that was unexpected. I'll be honest with you. And it was <laughs> quick, too. 57th minute now, the LA Galaxy uh, erase the one goal deficit, now winning 2-1. to one. All right, so now I guess the same question, though, Eric. Uh, Orlando headed to the bench. Uh, the LA Galaxy now leading for the first time in this match, uh, you know, just a little into 60 minutes. So now is it time to sit back and, and absorb some pressure? Or, are you again, are you going to try to uh, to dominate this Orlando team? I think 2-1, uh, this is one of the most dangerous uh, leads in soccer. Or is it 2-0? Either way, I think there's a 2 involved. But, uh, yeah, I, th I think you still have to continue to press and, and get that insurance goal uh, to really put it away. They're in a good position. Second goal definitely made me feel better about, uh, uh, you know, the Galaxy finishing this. Now we just got to make sure the defense can close it out. Was that a was that a selfie in the in the stands there? Was that, yeah, is that, that what we saw. Okay, I just again, to I think the, you know a lot of celebrities at the game today. Even the rain, uh, not keeping people away. You know, Chef Gordon Ramsay's here at the game today. James Corden, uh, you know, English contingent uh, in in the crowd. So it's nice to see the celebrities out today. I, I heard a rumor Tom Cruise also there. I do really? Yeah, maybe. I, I, yeah, I know. I did see heightened security uh, in the wag box. So we'll yeah. see if if that's the reason. Oh, another uh, another good turnover here for the LA Galaxy. Uh, good pressing. Ooh, nice Ooh. nice play. Back to him. Oh, there's got to be a foul there. Mm. Held on for oh. it for just a little too long. He had he had the players, he had the support, just couldn't get rid of the ball. I, I you know if if that's a uh, that's inside the box, I think VAR takes a look at that one and gives a penalty kick there. There was a lot of grabbing. And a substitution in the offing. I think Orlando now, uh, is that their second substitution, their third yeah, substitution? Second substitution, Chris Mueller, dangerous, dangerous attacker here. So we'll see if uh, he, 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 the Galaxy defense could stop him. Again, this is where uh, the Galaxy have suffered or at least suffered last season. The season before is holding on to leads, holding on to the ball. Guillermo's only gone to the bench once so far, and that's not really surprising. Oh, well, what did I say about Mueller? <laughs> oh, I take that, it back. That, yeah, I was going to say that was bad. That was bad. Did you, did you see that one shot earlier uh, Earlier that ended up in uh, the Victoria block there? Um, <laughs> that that one was almost uh, on par with that. Yeah, that, that one uh, almost ended up in, in the Riot Squad section. Again, <laughs> and if, if you know your stadium geography, that's not good. That's especially right, considering that's where, where be. Yeah, especially yeah. That, considering where that shot was taken. Emil Cuello comes on for Sebastian Legette, the goal scorer today. So nice to see Legette get, get a rest. He's, he has to do practice all those uh, music videos with Becky G, so he's a, he's a busy guy. Again, Katai actually, one, still in the game in the 70th minute, and yes. two, being effective over there on the wing. This is, this is the shock of all shocks. Yeah, this is the Katai we signed up for before the season started. A 1-2 here. Could be a lot. Oh, Another. Hernandez looking for a brace here. Another good shot. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I would like to see him maybe take another dribble into the box um, because I think the closer he gets to goal, uh, well, hey, anybody, the closer you get to goal, the better chance you have of scoring, all right? <laughs> Josh Gessman's school of soccer here. The closer you get to goal, the better chance you get. Uh, the, the Galaxy just inches away from getting the third one here and then just putting this game away. But as it is, Orlando uh, pressing hard now on the counterattack. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Little half chance for Orlando there. People Gonzalez does well to create a distraction. Corona. David Bingham having to make some saves tonight. Um, none, I think, that were too too much of a bother so far, but uh, still making some saves. 
Hernandez trying a little too much, but still able to survive. Ooh, tried to split two defenders there. Are you going to get angry at your striker for trying to split two defenders if they're the last two defenders? You want you want your striker it's, to do it's that, a, right? That's, that's a desper desperation move there, but, you know, I respect it. You respect, you, you respect the desperation. You can smell it. <laughs> Especially given his goal. Back post, you know. Rolf Felcher. Ooh. Big, big move, even though that's offside. Bailed out. Bailed out by the offside flag. That that looked like he was onside. Let's see. VAR is going to show us a little line here. Just like, oh, by a, by a half a bow Just by a foot. Yeah. <laughs> half a bow tang. <laughs> a third of a bow tang, I think. The, the big problem here, of course, is that, you know, if even bow tang ever hears any of this, he's well, going to find us. Yeah. So. Yeah, he's got, he's got ample time to find us, though. That's yeah. a scary thing now. Yeah, that's right. Orlando's really going to press here. About seven Almost minutes remaining. Points. GBS uh, still has uh, one sub remaining if he wants to go, but dangerous from Nani out there on the outside. So who, if, if you have one sub left with five minutes, uh, do you bring on another defender to ice the game, or uh, do you leave things as is? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, maybe you bring in somebody like Julian Araujo. Maybe you bring in somebody like Dan Starris, who uh, we hear is ready to rear and to go. I, I, you know, wouldn't even be upset if they, uh, well, here we go. Here's our sub, Ethan Zubak, just like we predicted, a defender it, 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 coming yeah, on the field. He's going He's going for the long <laughs> long shot option here. Kevin Baxter predicted 27 to 28 goals from Ethan Zubak in a shortened season. Just wanted to point that out. Wow. That can't be. Oh, that was it. That was, that was it. That was, that was a chance. David. That was a David Bingham slash. I think in Sua deflection. As I say, who got a foot on it? Ooh, it's both. I think they both got. It was a. It was a pinball machine here. Another corner. About three minutes left. Plus some stoppage time. The Galaxy needing to stay strong. Oof, Nani not making the countrymen proud there. What, who was that pass back to inside the box with like 30 people there? Listen, that's just how they drew it up. It's, it's Burhalter ball. G GBS is like, we play out of the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's kill this game off, boys. Oh, nice ball. Going to the corner flags. See, I, I would have, I, I think that that's the wrong pass there. Not, don't lo lob it into somebody. Put it on somebody's foot on the ground. Quiet game from Pavone today. Did you need him to be loud if you're winning right now? You'd like to see a little more, but at the same time, you know, he was <laughs> his his most dangerous run was the uh, the deke on the <laughs> corner. The short ball run. Here we go. Insurance goal. Here it comes. Nope. But that's it. Game Didn't over. need it anyway. Well done. Game over. LA Galaxy victorious 2 1 over Orlando City. Goals from Sebastian Legette. And Chicharito, Javier Hernandez, gets his first LA Galaxy and MLS goal. You can see like Christian Pavone. Again, uh, the, the field held up pretty good in the rain, so I think all is uh, pretty good. You can see there Javier Hernandez, four attempts, one goal. Uh, that's a, a more productive night. Again, a quieter night overall, I think, from the LA Galaxy offense than you would expect, especially whenever you see the possession numbers. Um, but it, it was a it was a victory, and it was a come from behind victory. Uh, two goals in less than five minutes to get the LA Galaxy the victory there over Orlando City. What'd you think, Eric? I, I thought it was impressive again uh, to go down a goal uh, in the first half, and then to come back answer quickly in the second half shows a mental ability that this team has uh, the ability to fight back, and uh, they came back in, in stunning fashion. And then Chicharito Hernandez again uh, with a. You know, impeccable skill on his own, solo, making it himself, no service needed. Like you mentioned, definitely going to give some great B-roll for the Naked Humans blog coming up soon. That's right. I would tune in. Tune in. When, when do we get a link from theirs to ours? I just That's what I want to know. When do they drop us a link? All right. Let's, I, I guess right. that's probably asking too much. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, I, you know, the last highlight there, just the heroics, late game heroics from David Bingham and Emiliano and Sue to keep the game, keep the Galaxy with three points instead of one. 2-1 winners, LA Galaxy over Orlando City. Uh, a pretty good night overall. We hope everybody enjoyed hanging out with us, and we will, of course, be here once again whenever the LA Galaxy take on their next uh, game. For Eric the Portuguese Hammer, I'm Josh Pato Guessman, and you've been watching Corner of the Galaxy's coverage of the LA Galaxy against Orlando City. <laughs>